Hey guys, welcome back to Travel and Fun. So as you know, it's all about travel, reviews, food and more. Well, after coming from work today, I was very hungry and then I asked Anu, um, Anaka, uh, <laughs> for your information, she's called Anu. Uh, so I asked Anu what's for dinner and uh, you can see guys like it's almost around 9 p.m. So I'm very hungry right now. She told me that it's it's dosha, the one of the very famous South Indian dishes. Uh, I, I said, yeah, cool, that's fine. Dosha is very fine for me. And then she told me, but I don't know what should I uh, give, uh, give to you with dosha. Like what do you have, what do you want to have with dosha? So I said anything would be fine. Then yeah, all of a sudden something struck my mind. Mm, I have seen my grandma and my mom make this uh, ulli malagaracha chamandi. Uh, that's what it's called in Malayalam. Uh, it translates to Hindi like it's piaz or mirchi. Mirchi is the red one, the red um, dried mirchi, akka mirchi. Uh, grinded on stone so and in um, like it is very young when it's grinded on stone but since we live in these apartments and all we cannot grind them on stones so normally we use mixer grinders so Anu said okay I can make that for you so let's go ahead and check that wonderful recipe of this beautiful chutney this is very simple guys but trust me the taste is not as simple as the making is so let's go ahead and check it out Hey, so welcome to our kitchen. Oh, you see, there's our chef for today, Anakha. Hi. Hey. Welcome to Travel and Fun. Yeah. So, guys, um, Anakha is going to make that yummy Ulli Malagar Chachamandi today for us. And Actually, many of you might be thinking Ulli Malagar Chachamandi is not to put in face I mean, in YouTube. But then uh, I thought, okay. Guys, it's one of the it's one of the easiest thing. Yeah, easiest and yummiest thing that you can have with dosa or idli also. I'm not a well experienced cook or something. I'm seriously, I'm just a beginner. So I thought I'll share this easy easy recipe to my beginner friends. Yes. Please, so uh, those who all are experienced, I'm not. You are not that experienced. No, I'm not that experienced. So yeah. if I'm wrong, please correct me. Yes. For my beginner friends, just. A small yeah, thing. try it out. Huh. Check it out. Yeah. So, Anaka, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's make it. Yeah, let's make it, guys. So I'm the ingredients. excited and I'm waiting. So, guys, let's just check out the ingredients for this recipe. So, you first thing you want is shallots, and uh, then you want some dry red chilli, and then this curry leaf, um, mustard, and this urad dal is for tempering. And uh, you might be wondering why I'm using this. Kashmiri red chilli powder because my red chilli are very spicy and for getting the red color I cannot put almost 10-11 chilies so I'm using only less chilies and to get that color that color also matters for that I'm using this Kashmiri red chilli powder and salt as per your taste okay so Anaka let's go ahead and start making this so here is you might think why I'm making this Tuli Molaga Chamandi a good video and all, but nothing, guys. Uh, it's a traditional palakkad and dish, and uh, I wish I should share this to all my friends. That's it. Alanda, I'm not making big scene of it and all, just to share with you guys, those who don't know about this. That's it. So, guys, let's first add all the shallots and. Uh, Red chilli and some salt as per the taste. Add little salt at first and then let's add more if it is not enough. But if you add more salt then there is no way. And this is Kashmiri red chilli powder. This is like homemade one. So I am adding just almost a half a teaspoon just to get the colour. Because I told you already. Sorry, <laughs> I told you already like my chili is very spicy I cannot add uh, like more than 4 or 5 
but to get the color I'm adding this so let's close it and grind it mm. guys uh, I'll tell you this is not a tip but I have tried this and it has worked out for me so the thing is you all will have this pulse button in your mixer grinder so for making this uli molaga to get that um, authentic we will not get the authentic taste as we are not using it with the stone with ammi color yeah. but uh, to get almost the texture and all let's use only this pulse button and let's check it out if it is not grinded properly then let's only use it till the first speed let's not go to 2 and 3 so that we will get that half crushed feel that is what is needed in this chamandi so let's start so this is half crushed so now we need to add little water i'm just adding very little bit of water maybe a teaspoon that's it Are you not here? Pull it out, Julia. Oh, look at what Anaka has got to say. <laughs> She's worried that she has not put nail polish for today. Show your nails. Show your nails. No, I'm not showing my nails. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's guys, let's. And I just crushed it in first speed for just like ten seconds. this is mm. i think it's i will not say it's exactly like what it is um, done with that uh, hand, grinder. hand grinder that is amicable but it's almost i think 80% it's like that and and i also agree that if you make in that hand grinder that stone and that that taste better but with mixer grinder we can make it we can just try to make a 80% of it So guys, I've transferred this to a bowl and I've added little water just to get the consistency because that will be thick and for us to have with dosha it should be a little bit um, thin watery. So I've added little water and now for the end thing, I'll tell you. Just add the main taste maker is this. Add just a full teaspoon of coconut oil, maybe one or one and a half. that will reduce the amount of spiciness and it will enhance a good flavor and taste seriously guys try this out this is amazing very good with coconut chutney and even with sambar you might be thinking this is weird but seriously guys if you have idli or dosa with this chamandi and sambar and coconut chutney it will be very good it will be yummy and one more thing i'll show is one more thing i would say like this is one form of serving this uh, chamandi and uh, one more form is you can just add a little of tempering in it so that the taste will be entirely different like it will taste as some other dish actually like tadka yeah, yeah. like so let's temper it with some coconut oil and mustard some urad dal and uh, fresh curry leaf and just will add it instead of this coconut oil if you are adding that then there is no need of coconut oil if you are adding that tempering then it will be even more good that's something different taste uh, apart from this coconut oil cut it cut it cut it see the sound mm. see the sound of the bling So guys, let's have some yummy doshas with these yummy chutneys. So here is Anu making dosha. Oh, look at that skill! Yeah, Anu is telling me there's nothing much to 
so much to say about this. All are good dosha makers. I believe so. So guys, I am settled down here right inside the kitchen. This is the best place I feel to have doshas because you get hot doshas right from the tawa faster, okay? So whether, whether my mom makes it or Anu makes it or my grandma or whoever makes doshas, my place is directly in the kitchen. So you can see I am already in the kitchen. Yep, this is Anu here. Hey! So guys, my doshas have started to come and let me go ahead and pour this yummy chutneys. I can't wait to have. So hungry. Don't make them separate guys. <coughs> this is how it's very yummy. Okay. So you have to just, let's go ahead and have it. Very yummy. Oh, I cannot wait to have so many doshas. So, guys, try out this recipe, Anu's recipe, <laughs> and make sure you have many, many doshas. Happy dosha day to you. So, guys, please try out this and let me know if that worked out for you. Yeah. So, guys, try out uh, this recipe, yummy Molaga, uh, Ulli Molaga Arthur Chamandi. And dosha, or you leave it also go good. Guys, I'll try to come up with some more easy recipes. I'll not go for difficult ones, I'll just go for easy recipes. Okay, guys, so until the next video, it's bye from us. Yes, happy dosha day. Bye.